Hey, what's up? It's Mo here at UAT inside their Security Operations Center, hanging out with Dr. Bryant Bacotti. How are you? Mo, I am over the moon excited to be here at University of Advancing Technology talking to you about cybersecurity. Me too. And then there's so much to get into. Now, every single day, it really feels like you're hearing about another cyber attack happening, whether it be in airlines or a hotel company. What do you teach in your class that helps prepare people for these events? So we ensure that we provide a broad foundation for cybersecurity through network engineering and cybersecurity principles like the CIA. Uh, but we also look to what's currently happening, trends in industry in terms of uh, current events and looking towards the future, for instance, in artificial intelligence and how uh, both enemies and cybersecurity professionals are utilizing artificial intelligence on the battlefield and throughout the world. How does it work exactly if someone's coming in here as a student to learn about cybersecurity and what they can do to help prevent it? What are some hands-on things that you teach in your curriculum? One of the ways in which we do that is through our uh, competition team. So the students participate in what's called a CTF competition team or capture the flag in which they're working to identify flags that are located within cyber challenges and as they're identifying those challenges they get points and they're competing with one another or other schools in order to determine who has the best cyber program. Interesting. That's actually my next question is, what do you think sets UAT apart from other institutions that are teaching cybersecurity? I think the heartbeat of UAT is really in two things. One is the SIP project or the, uh, the student innovation project. And what that is, is that's a requirement for every student, regardless of whether they're cyber or one of our other degree programs, to create an innovative project. Uh, and that's something that you won't likely see in any other program across the country. And this is undergrads who are working to complete these projects. So I think that that's one. I think the other is the interdisciplinary nature of learning here at UAT. So regardless of whether you're in robotics or cyber or game art and design, you're going to be working alongside your peers in some of these other disciplines in order to ultimately create these set projects. And that I think is, is awesome. Well, uh, Dr. Bryant, I really appreciate your time today and telling me more about the cybersecurity program here at UAT. No, the pleasure was all mine. <laughs> and if you have any questions or you want to find out more about a degree in cybersecurity, digital arts, or anything else here that UAT has to offer, go and visit uat.edu slash mo. And again, thank you so much, Dr. Bryant. Thank you, Mo. Appreciate it.